Hunter. And I'm Doug. This time at Waterloo Labs, we're going to show you how to drive a car with an iPhone. And we're going to show you all the steps we took so that you can do it too. Vroom, vroom. To be able to drive the car, we have to control three things. The gas, the brake, and the steering. To do this, we have a couple of motors that we've ripped out of the power windows. They have a bunch of wrenches that are going to press the gas and the brake pedals. Up here, we have another motor that's geared up with a motorcycle chain to the steering column. To control all of those motors, we have a compact Rio real-time controller that we're talking to wirelessly. All of this wireless communication can be done with LabVIEW on a laptop, with an iPhone, or with a modified Power Wheels. This is the modified Power Wheels that we're using to control the car. We have a potentiometer hooked up to the steering to control that angle. We have an optical encoder that we built to tell how fast we're going, and we're sending all of this data back to the laptop using a wireless data acquisition device. This is a potentiometer, also known as POT, a variable resistor that we can use to measure angular position. As we turn the knob, the contact slides around the disc and increases the distance that the current has to travel, therefore increasing resistance. If you want to control the car with your iPhone, there's an app for that. John Boyles wrote this one for us so that we can just change these sliders in order to control the pedals and steering. And so right now, we're going to MOTORCYCLE! If you want to find out more about this project and see more awesome projects, check it out at engineerawesome.com.